I bought Chelsea from Don Bowley to become their new club owner. And my first decision was sacking Pochettino and bringing back the special one, Mourinho. I thought with Jose Mourinho coming in, we'd be able to transform Chelsea. We even made the signings he wanted. But in reality, it's been the complete opposite. We're 11th in the Premier League and the tactics Jose Mourinho is employing just look outdated. And so as the club owner, I've got a big decision to make today. Sack Jose Mourinho and bring in a new manager or trust him. But by trusting him, if we end up failing to qualify for Champions League this season, we could lose a lot of our talented players. Here we go, boys. Another Chelsea episode. The pressure is on. I can't believe we're struggling this much in this series. To be 11th in the Premier League, to be fair, it's kind of realistic. This is how bad Chelsea are. But nah, I thought with the Jose Mourinho tactics, we'd be doing a lot better. Clearly not. The worst thing is, my man has had no luck whatsoever. And Kunku being injured for the next six weeks, that's brutal. What do we do now is the real question. Do we just sack Mourinho? I feel like it'll be a bit premature to do that just in November. Let's give Jose Mourinho a bit more time. One month. If by January 1st, he's unable to get us at least into the top six, we'll start considering a new manager. I don't want to be the kind of club owner that just constantly changes managers. We've already sacked Pochettino this season. Let's give Mourinho a month to maybe get something out of this team. And it starts here against Newcastle. And also, this is what makes me think maybe Mourinho is outdated. Even clubs like Newcastle are playing a modern way of football, gegging, pressing and everything, while we're forced to play a counter-attacking style of football, which clearly is not working all that well. That's something to consider if we're deciding to sack Mourinho, because we want to play an aggressive attacking play style with this Chelsea team. For now though, we need to figure out what to do without Nkunku. I think the right answer is playing Madueke on the right and having Cole Palmer play in that number 10 role. It's a big responsibility for the young kid, but he's our club captain. Mourinho sees something in him and let's see if Cole Palmer can captain us to victory. It feels like ages since we've won a game. Another thing I'm hoping for in this game is Boniface finally coming into form. That's one reason why Mourinho's Chelsea struggling so much. Our star signing Boniface this season hasn't really done much, but now he might. Here goes Boniface. Maybe a shot from outside the box. He struck it well, but straight at the keeper. We got Cole Palmer taking responsibilities with set pieces to Boniface. No. Nope. Can't win that does. Rebound, please. How have we missed that? Sometimes I really feel bad for Mourinho, man. Boniface again. Oh, that's some smart play to find Reese James, who puts it back in. Cole Palmer. Oh, that is lovely. Cole Palmer with an absolute beauty. I know we've put a lot of responsibility on his shoulders, making him club captain, playing him now in that number 10 role. But when he's got that kind of quality, it does make it seem like it's the right decision by Jose Mourinho. Finally, a bit of space for Boniface to run into, but he just, it's not clicking. You know, sometimes some players just don't click at particular clubs, and that's exactly what's happening here with Boniface face. Oh, Mudrick's now got a chance. Couple of good touches. Still Mudrick. Mudrick has put it in. What a finish. We've been waiting for players to step up and finally we're seeing that happen. Full time, guys, and it's been ages since we've had a victory like this. A dominant performance with Cole Palmer leading this team. This result might have just saved Mourinho's career here at Chelsea. Okay, still his job is not safe. We're still going to be on the hunt for a new manager if Mourinho can't get us into the top six. And he's got exactly a month to do that. And some really tricky games coming up. Okay, we do have the team to beat Brighton. I'd be really surprised if we can't get a win here. Come on, let's pick up three points. There you go. And look at that. Mudrick is slowly developing into a really important player at this club. Oh, and one more thing. Boniface in this game just got a yellow card. Rose got more bookings than goals for us. Oh, wow. Cole Palmer already showing a bit of leadership. I hope you don't mind me catching you like this, but the lads have asked me to talk to you. They're a bit worried that the club isn't meeting their demands. No more motivation this season. What plans you have to improve the situation? I mean, that's that's on Jose Mourinho. Is he basically hinting to me that Chelsea don't want to play this defensive style of play? Probably is. Wow, Cole Palmer's a brave guy. Mourinho made him captain and he's already speaking out against him. But now we're playing Man United and this is going to be a big test for Mourinho's men. Oh, and look at all the stamina issues. And also, Nicholas Jackson is playing. I think Boniface, the gaffer's lost faith in him. You Huge game, guys, at Old Trafford. Mourinho returning to the club he formerly managed. He's also made a big decision playing Nicholas Jackson. This is going to be interesting. Oh, is that Romelu Lukaku? Remember, we sold him to them because we needed to, you know, comply for FFP and everything. But now, he's playing against us. 
already a chance, and Man United almost scored, and they do. That is a disastrous start, man. This is what I'm seeing. Now, because we play a counter-attacking style, we're going to be on the back foot. It's going to be hard to score. Unless Modric can do something crazy. Saved by the keeper. Enzo Fernandez has gone through. Could get us a goal back. Oh, that's lovely from Enzo. World-class finish. Okay, we're not conceding to Lukaku, but he's gone through. This is bad. Please, Sanchez, save it. Yes, he saves it. Come on. Do AK looking really solid. Oh, no, he's put it wide. Come on. No way. No way, Lukaku. You're not scoring. Huh. I'm so glad Lukaku is a bit of a fraud. Anybody else and that would have been a goal. A few moments later. No way. No way. I just called him a fraud and we end up conceding to him. From what we're witnessing, it does feel like Mourinho is not the man for the job. Guys, I think we don't even have time until January because we're still 11th in the Premier League. What is the gap between us and fourth right now? Oh my days, it's 12 points and we're not even halfway through the season. I think, guys, we've given Jose enough time. But there isn't more time left. I think it's time to look for a new manager. I know it's a tough decision, but this team needs maybe a new style of play. All right, guys, I I have created a short list of potential managers we can sign. First one is Zinedine Zidane, who is currently unemployed. I tried reaching out to him, but he instantly rejected us because we're not even in the Champions League. Makes sense. Zizou is big time. He's not going to manage us if we're not playing in the elite club competition. Another option is Xabi Alonso, who's absolutely balling out at Bayer Leverkusen. And here at Chelsea, if we give him the tools to cook, I think he could get us back into the Champions League easily. But the problem is he's a former Liverpool player and plus why would he even want to get into this mess? There is one really sensible option, and that's Brighton's coach, Desabi. Look in the relegation zone, guys. Brighton are absolutely struggling, and I don't think it's because of their coach. They're a club that don't really have that much money. There's a limit to what Desabi can do, and I really think he could be the perfect coach for Chelsea. It's a bold decision, bringing in a young manager like that, but I think that attacking style of play that the Brighton boss has could be what we need. For now, we've got three games left in the Premier League until January. Let's wrap them up and hopefully get some points. So far, guys, Mourinho has not been notified that he's on the verge of being sacked. I'd like to keep it that way just to keep everyone focused and we can pick up some good results. But yeah, it's going to be a tough conversation to have with Mourinho. Sacked for what? The third time at Chelsea. The main issue I have with Mourinho, guys, is the tactics. Our team just is so defensive right now. And we've got the attacking talent to be a bit more aggressive, a bit more bold. And it actually just ends up making us just defend all game long. Because of that, we concede silly free kicks. Let's just hope we don't end up conceding from this. It's a set-piece routine for far now with good defending. But the danger is still on. We get it away. Oh, we've got some space here for Boniface. Could be his big moment. Boniface, Bruh. the chip. I can't believe it. He needed that goal for confidence. I'm just realizing the fine margins of a manager. Imagine if Boniface would have just lit up the Premier League, scored a ton of goals. We wouldn't be even considering sacking Mourinho, but that's just how this sport works. Cole Palmer right now with the chance. We go right foot. He does not care. He's been the standout player for us this season. Another chance here for Boniface to prove his worth. Can he finally? What's he doing? Bro is single-handedly getting Mourinho sacked at this point. No way. No way. What a save from Sanchez. If one player has stepped up during this Mourinho era, it's Robert Sanchez. Otherwise, we'd probably be in a relegation battle. Oh, proper chance here for Madueke, who's playing because of Nkunku's injury. He can take advantage of it, but he doesn't. And now on the other end, we could legit end up conceding Colwell defense well. And that's going to be another hard-fought 1-0 win. This is what I think needs to end, man. We're Chelsea. We can't be happy with results like this. It's it's a win. But look at how we won. The good thing is we've picked up a couple more wins and we're 10th in the Premier League. Still not great, but we've reduced the gap to four down to eight points. But most importantly, we're now in January and I think it's time to make the big decision. But first, before we make a decision of sacking Mourinho, I think we need to confirm if Desabi is interested in the job and so we're having a meeting with him. Okay, so from what Desabi is saying, he is interested in managing Chelsea and I'm not surprised. But he 
He's saying he wants complete control in tactics and he should have complete freedom in the players he wants to play and also a say in future transfers. To be honest, guys, that's exactly what I want from a manager. He's coming in with his own ideas. As a club owner, my job is to let him flourish. I think the Zobby is the man. And now there's only one thing left to do. Breaking news. The special one has been let go from Chelsea for a third time as Chelsea look to improve their form in the Premier League. Guys, I really feel bad for how I've done this. We didn't even have a chat with Mourinho. Just straight up fired him. I mean, that's what club owners do, I guess. There's no point chatting to Mourinho. We've made our decision. He's out of the building. But also, it's welcome to Zobby. Hopefully, this managerial appointment will be different, and we need it to be. The objective for Dezabi is clear. In half a season, he needs to get a stop for. Absolutely. And so, the Roberto Dezabi era at Chelsea begins. This is literally the second new manager we've had, and it's barely been half a season. But I believe this will work. And oh boy, the first change Dezabi is making. Tactics completely different. We're going to be playing free-flowing attacking football. He's also hiring a a bunch of his own coaching staff and also he's pushing up our wingers by the looks of it tactically giving more freedom to cole palmer and also instructions to boniface if the zombie can get the best out of boniface that'll be a miracle meanwhile this is some incredible luck for the zombie because nkunku is back from his injury i guess palmer will go back to playing on the right and nkunku will be back to leading this team here we go, guys. First test for new manager to Zabi. Oh, and already he's imposing himself with the big change. Kukurella playing ahead of Chilwell. Maybe that's because Kukurella is more attacking. There's the Zabi. First game at the bridge for him. Looking on. I'm really hoping he's the right appointment we've made. Guys, look at the positioning of our defenders. It's super aggressive. It could end up backfiring as well. No, 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 we concede. The Zabi's error starts with a silly goal from a set piece as well. One thing I'll tell you guys with Mourinho's tactics, we were defending a lot better right now. We look a bit clueless. Look at that, just giving it away in a silly fashion. We could end up conceding again. A lucky save. Shots taken. Nope. Oh, keeper, what are you doing? Why are you flicking it off? No way. Robert Sanchez, what was that? The Zabi's error starts with an absolute disaster. First half. And we are 2-0 down. What on earth? Guys, it's starting to feel like we, we shouldn't have sacked Mourinho. At least we weren't conceding silly goals. Now we can't score, nor can we defend. Oh, Palmer. Boniface. Finally. Finally, he scored. Victor Boniface. It's taken him ages, but he's got us back into the game. No, 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 no. Let's not throw everything away. No, it's off the post. I can't believe it. Willian scoring against this former club. What are we enduring here? Oh, Boniface has got an NBA and he's got another chance. And he makes it count, but it might be a bit too late. Kunku, he's off to a really good run here. Looks for a cross for Boniface. Goes for goal, it's straight in the keeper. That was his moment. There's still time for one goal more. Cole Palmer is on it. Looks for Boniface on a hat trick. Victor Boniface is saved. Set piece. We need a miracle here. Cole Palmer's gonna whip this one in. It's decent. Boniface saved again. Is this a joke? And that's full time. I was expecting the Zabi's debut to be iconic, getting us back on track. But we still endure another defeat. Do you know what? There were some positives from that game. And of course, it's it's Boniface. He's back to scoring. At least with the new attacking tactics, the team is scoring more goals. But yeah, we need to sort out that defense. And up next, we've got a trip to Anfield. Come on, Zabi. Now you're getting a chance to show in the big game. There were signs of good performance in that first game. Him, like in a bonnie face scoring but we need to get a win it's been ages and of course trying to get a win against one of the best teams in the league it's gonna be a real challenge darwin nunez already through big save robert sanchez like he's been doing all season long no 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 we're not conceding we're defending really well liverpool are making us defend oh my days they cooked us they really did it's a gift and now liverpool take the lead no matter who the manager is it, it really feels like we're in a hopeless situation come on that could change with reese james now bombing forward he knows he's good attacking wise and he puts it in that's what we needed somebody to step up i'm telling you attacking wise the zombies tactics i've got this team playing some good football it's just that we can't defend to save our lives 
on the attack here's Nkunku now he's made a good run he's got the pace as well Christopher Nkunku and he's off the nope. post but Boniface how has that not gone in I swear we just absolutely have no luck okay he was offside anyways second off and Mudrick's managed to make a really good run and he slotted it home Mikhailo Mudrick catching Liverpool by surprise if we can get a win at Anfield it clearly proves that Desarbi is the right man for the job and we're on to something and just look at the way we're playing with the numbers we've got bombing forward there's clearly a difference in our style of play Cole Palmer looking to unleash but doesn't have the finesse but we need to know how to defend that's been our biggest weakness but we're just relying on our keeper no 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 across to the back post and of course ah oh, it's freaking Liverpool and Anfield what are we supposed to do full time and Desabi is yet to get his first win for the club it's frustrating because we're playing I think a lot better and I'm sure that's visible on the pitch do you know what it's transfer deadline day and as a club owner I need to help my manager we need to bring in a new player and I'm thinking a centre back is what this team is right now really lacking recently Chaloba had been sold and so we've got 38 million in the bank if we do a swap deal i think we can sign someone really good next episode we need to get that center back and within deadline day otherwise there's no hope for us to even have a chance of pushing for top four